Author Donna Jodhan presents Episode 1, Santa's Super Secret. Alex Tarasco had a secret that only two people knew of. He had a desire to fulfill a dream, and he used his secret to do just that. Alex was no different from most of us. He grew up in a normal family environment, but at age 13, something unexpected happened to change his life forever. He did not allow this event to stop him from dreaming, but alas, he had to put his dream on hold for many years while he took care of business. Then one day something else happened and Alex was again reminded that he had still not fulfilled his dream. This time, however, he made sure that his precious dream was realized. Santa's Super Secret, a tale of fiction that includes hopes, misadventures, and sadness turned into joy. Written by Donna J. Jodhan Merry Christmas, everybody! Happy Holidays! And I hope that everyone is enjoying themselves and that they've all been very good this year and that Santa Claus is going to be bringing them lots and lots of presents and good things. For all you girls and boys, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from Detective DJ and her team. This story is all about a little boy called Alex Tarasco. His dreams, his secrets, and everything that went with it. Alex Tarasco was the only son of Alejandro and Michelle Tarasco. Each year, Alex's dad used to dress up and play Santa Claus. And he did this to let thousands of less fortunate kids, and even to adults. His mum... Michelle used to bake hundreds of Christmas cookies and then she would pack them into huge food baskets and along with Alex she would go out and distribute them to less fortunate families. This was such a joy to Alex and a joy to his parents as well. Alex and his parents never wanted for anything. Alex lived in a large house on a hill overlooking the city. He was a good kid He worked hard at school and wanted to be just like his dad. He wanted to play Santa Claus when he grew up. He dreamed of this each year as he grew older, but he never told his parents about this. Alice's dad would go all out to play Santa Claus. He would dress little Alex as a reindeer and then bundle him into a sleigh. And he had made this sleigh with his own two hands. Then. The two of them would set out on a whirlwind journey around the world, one that took them to faraway countries, so far away that Alex never even knew some of these countries until he and his dad visited them. Alex's mom usually stayed at home and waited for their return, and when they came in from the cold, a large plate of Christmas cookies and cups of hot chocolate topped with marshmallows would be waiting for them. The happy family would sit down at their table and eat their food and speak amiably of all kinds of things. And then when they were done, they would retire to the living room where a huge Christmas tree loaded with presents would be waiting for them. It was so much fun for little Alex. Oh, how much he enjoyed it. Alex almost always went to bed a very happy little boy, and during the night he would dream of how he too had played Santa Claus. This was his very favorite time of the year, because he loved to hand out toys to happy little girls and boys. And when he woke up next morning, he promised himself that when he grew up, he would be just like his dad playing Santa Claus. Oh, how he dreamed. Everything went well for little Alex, but an unexpected event took place when he was about 13 years old. It was Christmas, 
and him and his dad had already gotten ready to go out on their special mission. Everything was almost ready. The sleigh was loaded with toys and goodies. Alex was already dressed Santa's little reindeer, and his dad was already stuffed into his special Santa suit. The sleigh was piled high with toys and goodies, and stood ready for action in the driveway. At around 7 p.m., there was a sharp knock at the front door, and Alex's dad went to answer it. Everything went haywire after that. Alex's dad was shot dead on the spot, and the intruder tried to flee. But Alex would have none of it. He tackled the intruder while his mum called 911, and he was screaming and shouting as he pinned the intruder to the floor. The intruder was caught, but Alejandro Tarasco was dead. Now Alex would become the man of the house. Alex Tarasco assumed his responsibility with poise, with dignity, and he did his best for his mom. He was the man of the house. He always had his mom first in his heart. The two became even closer. After his dad's death, he had to forego the annual tradition, and it made him extremely sad. But he never stopped dreaming of being Santa Claus one day. He had to finish school and help his mom get on with their lives. Alex graduated from high school with flying colors, and he continued to be a happy boy. But there was something awful that was missing, and Alex knew what it was. It made him extremely sad, but there was nothing that he could do about it for the time being. He and his mom remained close, and he did what he could to make her happy, and Michelle Tarasco tried to get on with her life. She wanted to continue to make a happy home for Alex, but she missed her husband so very much. Both of them missed Alejandro. Alex had now grown into a young man and had graduated from high school, and after he had graduated, his mom had wanted him to go away to university. But Alex did not want to leave his mom. He argued vehemently to let him stay with her, but she would not give in. And when he was about 19, he gave in to his mom's pleas. He left home to study at a very prestigious university. His mom told him that this is what his dad would have wanted for him, and that he would have been proud of his son. Michelle Tarasco even showed her son a letter that his dad had written just before he was killed. In that letter, he had told his wife that if anything had happened to him, he wanted her to make sure that Alex had had the finest education possible. Alex always came home at Thanksgiving and Christmas, and he and his mom did their best to spend happy times. But there was one thing missing, and that was the annual Santa sleigh ride. Alex was all grown up now, and he had graduated at the top of his class as a medical professional. He returned to live with his mom and threw himself into his work and soon developed a thriving medical practice. Alex devoted most of his time to his work and enjoyed his patients, but he always had time for his mom. He never forgot his dad's tradition and in some way he tried his best to do what he could to live up to that tradition, but it never seemed to be the same for Alex. At Christmas time, he tried to hold Christmas parties for less fortunate kids and adults. But somehow, there was still something missing. Of course, it was the Santa sleigh rides that he used to take with his dad. Alex was going along fine, and he had lived with his mom for a few years before he met and fell in love with Jill Gastineau. His mom loved Jill very much, and the two ladies had become very good friends. Alex and Jill were married in a quaint little town and in a quaint little church not too long after they had met. The wedding had taken place on Christmas Eve just as Alex had wanted it, so as to commemorate the memory of his dad. It was such a lovely wedding, 
but only a few friends had been invited. After the honeymoon, Alex and Jill had bought a lovely house and convinced his mom to come and live with them. Alex now had a beautiful wife, beautiful home, and he loved his job. Everything was going so well for Alex, and his mom lived happily with them. Yet, for all of this, there was still something missing in Alex's life, and he knew exactly what it was. Not too long after his marriage, Jill became pregnant, and Alex was overjoyed. He was looking forward to having kids and becoming a father, and hopefully he would get his kids to follow this tradition, the annual Santa sleigh ride. And he had wanted so much to restart his dad's tradition. He had often told Jill about it, and she had willingly agreed that she would do everything she could to make this happen. Everything was going Alex's way. But one day, like anything else, something unexpected happened. Alex was then again thrown into turmoil. Alex had had a horrible accident and had had to remain in hospital for some time. During that time, Jill had given birth to twins, and they were born on Christmas Eve. Alex should have been excited about this, but for some odd reason, he was not his accident had been a huge setback to him, and he did not know how to deal with it. Both Jill and his mom, Michelle, had done everything they could to help him deal with it, and they had tried to encourage Alex to see his newborn kids. But each time they brought the babies to his room, he would refuse to see them. A happy Alex was now a very sad Alex, and so very unconsolable. His accident had left him in turmoil, and he did not seem to know how to deal with it or what to do about it. Upon his return home, things had gotten worse for poor Alex. He withdrew from everyone. He no longer spoke to either Jill or his mom, and he even refused to play with his new kids. They named the kids Andre and Jamie, and they were both lovely kids. Andre looked just like Alex, and Jamie had her mom's smile. Then, one night in the early fall, once more, something again happened to Alex, and his life changed. The house was very quiet. The babies had been put to bed, and Jill and Michelle had gone upstairs to their rooms. Alex was sitting in the dark in his large living room. The fire was burning nice and warm, and the scent of pine wafted through the house. Alex had begun to nod off, and soon he was in dreamland. He was walking through a huge mall, and all around him were lovely little girls and boys, singing happily to themselves and to each other. There were lots of toys as well. All kinds of toys for little girls and boys. Alex walked quickly, and soon he too got caught up in all of the cheer and noise. He was smiling to himself, singing to himself, singing Christmas carols. Oh, how happy he was. He entered a store, and as he walked towards the shelf crowded with toys, someone tapped him on his shoulder. Alex turned around, and there in front of him was his dad. His dad was dressed in a Santa suit, but his dad was looking very sad. And when Alex asked why, his dad told him that he needed Alex to do something very special for him. He told Alex that he had wanted him to play Santa, just as he had done in so many years gone by. Alex told him that he could not do it, and he told him that he could not do it because of his accident. His dad became even sadder, and big round tears started to roll down his father's cheeks. A minute later, he turned to leave his son, but Alex could not bear to see his dad like this, and he too began to cry. Then Alex, his dad, reached out and took Alex into his arms, 
and they both began to cry. After a minute, Alex's dad whispered something in his ear, and before he knew it, his dad had disappeared, but not before Alex had made a promise to him. Next morning, Alex awoke a new man. Yes, he was a new man. He knew what he had to do, and he told his wife and mom exactly how he was going to do it. Both Jill and Michelle were very excited at the change, and they were excited because it was a change that had come over Alex all of a sudden, and they agreed to help, no matter what. Alex, his wife, and his mom had a little over a month to prepare for his top-secret mission. Everyone got busy. Even the babies, who were almost a year now, seemed to understand. Alex went out and bought everything that he needed in order to make it happen. He bought a special GPS and a pathfinder. He bought a special navigation device and a homing device and a two-way radio and special video screens. And this was all to keep in touch with Michelle and Jill while he was airborne. He bought hundreds of toys for girls and boys. And finally, he set about to build a special slate that he could drive for himself. Jill and Michelle helped him all the way. They helped him to wrap the toys and to build the sleigh. And then when that was done, they helped him to install all of the special equipment that he had bought. Alex was now ready to drive his sleigh. The sleigh was loaded and Alex had included some very special passengers. There was Yelly, a happy-go-lucky yellow lab, who sat in the left-hand seat in the sleigh, just beside Alex. She was right next to her master. And then there was Kinkin, the happy little kitten, a furry little guy who sat in the right-hand passenger seat, right next to his master. There was Humchi, the lovely little rabbit, snuggly little bunny, and Scotty Bird, the big white snow goose. Everyone wore heavy coats, boots, hats, and mitts, so as to keep out the biting cold. Everybody was ready, and Jill and Michelle had packed loads of cookies, Christmas cookies, and cups of hot chocolate for everyone. Alex kissed the tops of the heads of his young kids and hugged his mom and wife, and then he was on his way with the special passengers. Santa Alex was airborne. Everything went very well for Alex and his special passengers. Yelly barked happily each time the sleigh dropped off toys for sleeping girls and boys. Kinkin kept chasing the fat snowflakes. And Humchi tried to catch the stars as the sleigh traveled at high speed. Scotty Bird kept watch seated on his special perch. Alex had lots of fun as the sleigh moved quickly along. He enjoyed it all. He had no difficulty using his special equipment, and he switched on his radio to hear the special Christmas music. He even at times said, Ho, 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 it's Christmas! And his little passengers cheered him on. He did all of this as the sleigh traveled at top speed. The cold winds were blowing in his face, and he had happy memories of when he and his dad used to do this so many years ago. Throughout his journey, he spoke constantly to his mom and wife, and they watched his progress on the video screens. They were both very excited for Alex, and even Andre and Jamie managed to stay up long enough to see their dad traveling on his sleigh. Andre giggled constantly, while Jamie smiled happily each time she saw her dad on his sleigh. Alex gave out iPhones, iPods, and video games, books, board games, tea sets, dollhouses, electronic cars, crayons, and all kinds of other stuff. And he drops off tins of chocolates and biscuits and cookies and cakes for lots of other people. And when he had given out everything, he turned for home. 
He almost lost his way on his approach to his house because his GPS had suddenly stopped working. Jill and Michelle had managed to guide him home safely. Alex was a happy but tired man as his sleigh landed. The animals, all sleepy, had clambered out and headed for their beds. They had eaten and drunk most of the cookies and hot chocolate that Jill and Michelle had packed for their trip. Alex was a happy man now, and so too were his wife and mom. Alex was about ready to reveal a secret. Alex had fulfilled his mission, and he had kept his promise to his dad. Now he wanted to share his secret with the rest of the world. Just before he wished his family a Merry Christmas, he told us the following story. Alex's accident had been a traumatic one. He had woken up one morning with absolutely no vision. Everything around him was pitch black. His wife, Jill, had rushed him to the hospital, and after a few hours, the doctors had told her that there was nothing to be done for her husband. They had decided to keep him for a few days to run some tests, but these days had stretched into months because Alex had developed some complications. Alex did not want anyone to know that he had gone blind. Only Jill, his wife, and his mom, Michelle, knew the top secret. He did not even tell his patients, choosing instead to close down his thriving medical practice. Upon his return home, Alex had become extremely despondent, and Jill and Michelle had become extremely worried. He had even refused to play with his kids, choosing instead to spend time on his own. He took no phone calls, and he had even refused to answer any of his emails. Nothing seemed to interest Alex anymore, until that fateful night when he had his dream. Alex says dad had told him that he should not let his blindness stop him from resuming his tradition of playing Santa Claus and that he had owed it to the less fortunate to keep on playing Santa. The rest is history. When Alex awoke on Christmas morning, there was quite a surprise for him. Santa had left him a present. It was a surprise to behold. His vision had miraculously returned, and he was once more able to see everyone. He saw beloved faces of his beloved kids for the first time since they were born, and he sobbed with joy when he saw them. The family crowded around him, and the animals came in from outside. They crowded around his chair, and he sat there admiring each of them. Yelly jumped into his lap and lay there looking up at him. Kinkin Kin snuck up onto his shoulders and began purring loudly, and Humchi hopped onto the arm of his chair and stood there looking at him. Scotty Bird flew in from outside and perched on a table loaded with Christmas goodies that was nearby. Santa has not forgotten Alex's most desired wish. He had returned vision to an ever grateful Alex. Alex and his family began to cry all at once, and they did not forget to thank Jesus for all of their special blessings on this Christmas day. I hope you enjoyed this special Christmas story, and again, I wish all of you a very, very Merry Christmas, and the joys, blessings, and peace of this holiday season. <laughs>